polar tracking polar tracking is a command or it is a drawing aid with which you can track the angles right so which angles can be tracked so you can just enter some angles which are required in the figure so you can pre enter those and then you can use those angles and you can track those angles in the figure right for polar tracking f10 is the shortcut key you can activate or deactivate it by pressing f10 right so you can see or this is the the option for polar tracking so you can just click over here to activate or deactivate it let us discuss this so before entering any uh, angles in the figure let us first of all feed the angles in polar tracking so right click on polar tracking go to tracking settings so here you can enter the angles in two forms one is the increment angle okay increment angle so you can see it is 90 given means it will track the angles at an interval of 90 degrees if i'm selecting 90 so means it will track 0 it will track 90 it will track 180 it will track 270 and then again 0 right so if you want to track some additional angles okay so you, you click over here then go to new let us suppose i want to track 25 degree i want to track 78 degree i want to track 137 degree i want to track 276 degree i want to track 329 degree right so i am just entering the random angles so i click over here okay now i'll go to line command so i when i activate line command i'll click on the first point select this as the first point so click over here so you can see this green colored dotted line it is tracking zero degree it indicates that it is tracking zero degree right so if i move further let me just rotate this line in anti-clockwise direction so it is tracking 25 degree so this we had entered as an additional angle then it is tracking 78 degree it is tracking 90 degree right it is tracking 137 degree it is tracking 180 degree it is tracking 270 degree then 276 degree 329 degree and then again 360 or 0 degree so right so if you have requirement of drawing a number of angles in a figure so you can pre-enter those angles in polar tracking and then you can track those angles and draw the figure efficiently right so thank you very much